Most people think they're doing everything right, eating well and exercising. So an osteoporosis diagnosis is a big, unpleasant surprise. But you don't have to be like most people because there are some key telltale warnings that can help you catch this sneaky condition earlier. That way you can jump on a path towards stronger bones and a better, healthier life. So keep watching if you wanna learn about the top three early warning signs of osteoporosis. Welcome to Stronger Bones with AlgaCal. Do you know what the top warning sign of osteoporosis is? The number one way that most people learn that they have thin bones is by breaking a bone. I know, I was shocked too. This might seem like a late sign, but hear me out. According to the NIH, 80% of osteoporosis sufferers discover that they only have a problem after they suffer a fracture. They didn't experience any of the other expected telltale signs such as bone loss or loss of function in any other way. In our AlgaCal call center, almost everyone who has bone loss is surprised by this diagnosis. And we're talking about hundreds of thousands of people throughout the years. Most have seen osteoporosis harm their family members, so they're determined to avoid that destiny themselves. I'm sure you can relate. And I hope you're sitting down because you're going to be surprised by these earlier warning signs that can help catch bone loss before suffering a fracture. But first, I have to mention a really valuable resource that I'm going to give away later in this video. It's a clear pathway back to strong bones that's outlined clear and simple. And the best part, it's free. All you have to do is keep watching to learn more. All right, so the first early sign of osteoporosis is actually receding gums. This is because as our jaw bones thin from the loss of bone mineral density, the gums often back away slowly from our teeth. This receding gum line has been associated with osteoporosis in multiple observational studies. So if you have this symptom, especially combined with one or more of the other signs I'm about to talk about, it would be worth scheduling that appointment with your doctor. This warning sign was actually first identified back in 1990, but it's something that is definitely not talked about enough, especially considering studies now show a moderate relationship between bone density of the mandible and that of the lumbar spine, which is the vertebrae that make up your lower back. This is why if you notice receding gums, not only should you check in with your dentist, but also ask your family doctor for a DEXA scan to check your overall bone health. The second one is a loss of height. When I first heard this, I never understood that part of aging, but now that I have the knowledge, it makes complete sense. As bone loss occurs, tiny spinal fractures change the shape of our vertebrae, which are the cylindrical shaped bones that make up your spine, into more of a wedge shaped bone which curves our back and shortens our stature. Not only is this a potential cause for concern for your spine health, but also should bring your attention to the lower limb. Research shows that a loss of height of two inches is a significant predictor of osteoporosis in the hip. So much so that if someone experiences this amount of height loss, they are 4.4 times more likely to develop this type of osteoporosis than their full height counterparts. And if that height loss exceeds three inches, that risk is 9.6 times greater. With four out of 10 women over the age of 50 experiencing a fracture of the hip, forearm, or vertebrae in their lifetime, this is a warning sign you definitely don't want to ignore. And here's the third sign, which although common, when combined with the other two may indicate bone loss. But before we get there, let me tell you about that valuable tidbit I had mentioned earlier. It's called the Smart Women's Guide to Healthy Bones. This guide is a 33 page full color PDF that's packed with solid advice on how to increase your bone mineral density in safe and natural ways. Yes, I said you can actually increase your bone mineral density and strength naturally at any age. Currently over 100,000 bone builders are following this guide and they're getting results like these. My bone mass in my spine had increased 10.8%. My numbers had improved immensely. My T-score had moved from minus 2.6 up to minus 2.3. I am thrilled to report I am minus 0 0.8. My spine had improved almost 7.5%. Just click the link in the description below and get your free guide sent directly to your email. Now, the third early warning sign of osteoporosis is lower back pain. Like the other signs, there can be many causes of lower back pain, so it's not necessarily caused by low bone density. It's much more likely to be caused by a disc problem. But if you don't have disc degeneration, it's so important to pay attention to lower back pain as it's a possible sign of declining bone density in the spine. 
Now don't get me wrong, low bone density is often painless, but sometimes the compression fractures in the spine can pinch nerves causing extraordinary pain. However, if this symptom is due to osteoporosis and not general wear and tear, you would likely also see a loss of height like I mentioned before. Low back pain is incredibly common in women with osteoporosis, especially if they have other osteoporotic risk factors such as history of smoking, diabetes, hepatohysterectomy, or a history of certain medication use. Have you noticed one or more of these symptoms lately? If you have, it may be time to organize a DEXA bone scan to measure your bone density. This isn't a sign to panic if you have all three of these symptoms, as there are multiple causes besides osteoporosis for each of them. But because breaking a bone is the most common wake-up call that we get, I just don't want you to wait for a fracture to be proactive. The best way to help yourself is setting up a DEXA scan. Don't wait for your doctor to recommend it or for your insurance to pay for it. They can cost anywhere from $70 to $300, and they only take a few minutes. Plus, they have less radiation than a short flight on an airplane. If you're watching this video, you probably have concerns, so do yourself a favor and get some relief. Just knowing the truth will help you sleep better at night. You won't believe how many Algicale customers I've talked to over the years who wish they had testing done earlier, like Deborah, who sent us this video from Ontario. It was horrible. The pain was horrible. My bone density score was minus 5.7 when this happened. And now I'm on a road of recovery. The damage can't be fixed. But LGCAL is turning my life around. I only wish I had found out about LGCAL many years ago. Now, if you haven't booked a DEXA scan before, I've got the perfect video for you. It's about everything you need to know before your first DEXA, and it should appear somewhere around here. Just click on it and learn about this quick and easy diagnostic tool or watch any of our other videos. Remember to subscribe, snag the free Smart Women's Guide for Healthy Bones, and hop on a journey towards stronger bones. Thanks for watching.